guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So I haven't done that in a few videos, and you guys definitely reminded me in the comments that I have not been doing my intro. So for all of you guys who are wondering, I'm actually working on a new intro. So I hope you guys love that <laughs> as well, okay? So just know you may not hear me say yes of it, decor, and more in all of my videos, all right? So this past weekend, I helped to decorate for a wedding and a wedding reception. So you guys really don't see me decorate weddings because I mostly do baby showers, right? I do a lot of birthdays and a lot of baby showers. But it was nice to take a break from balloons and do some flowers. So let's get into the setup and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so I can share with you my lessons learned. All right, so let's get started.
Let me know in the comments, what did you think? I have to be honest, when my clients reached out to me and told me that their wedding colors were navy blue and red, I was like, hmm, how is this gonna look? But after I seen their engagement photos and after I seen some decorations, I was like, okay, I can do this color combination. So my client loved how everything came out, but of course, guys, of course, there is always something that goes wrong. So let's get into the first lesson learned. And one of the biggest lesson learned when it comes to the decorations. So maybe like 20, 30 minutes before the wedding was supposed to start, one of my centerpieces that was outside so one of the floral arrangements fell over and broke. So let me show you. I'm not sure if you could see this. Hopefully you could see. But next to the flower wall, I put these two big floral arrangements, right? And I wanted to use these glass vases because I think they're so elegant and they're in my inventory, right? So I wanted to use this. How about it ended up tipping over, falling and breaking like 15, 20 minutes before the ceremony. Like I was like freaking out. <laughs> and I put rocks in here because this is a very lightweight vase, right? So I put some rocks in here to kind of weight it down and keep it in place. And even with that, a wind just came right along and knocked it over and broke. So we all had to go outside, you know, sweep up the vase, get all the broken glass up. And then what I ended up doing, thank goodness my mom suggested this, was just putting these directly onto the pedestals because I just didn't want to chance it with this vase. I didn't want to chance it again. And then heaven forbid, it falls and breaks during their wedding ceremony. So yeah, that was a big lesson that I learned. 
when it comes to outdoor weddings and if my clients want me to put these floral arrangements outside then I'm gonna have to use a heavier vase and a bigger vase so I can fill that with a bunch of sand and a bunch of rocks to really weight it down okay for all of my florists you know who are watching this video if you have any tips please feel free to leave them in the comments, okay? So that was a bummer. Of course, when the vase fell over and broke, the wedding guests were sitting there and all I hear is everybody gasping, right? So everybody goes, <gasps> and I'm like, what, what, what happened? And of course, it was my floral arrangement falling over. <laughs> with outdoor events there's just so much that you can't control right you have to plan for everything bad weather um, you have to plan for wind you have to plan for the heat so that brings me to my next lesson learned guys with this event even though it wasn't that hot outside so it's probably in the low 80s with the humidity it felt like it was almost 100 degrees. Like the humidity was so, oh my goodness. It was like, you know how it feels like you're just sticking, like everything is sticking to you and you're sweating. Like it was that type of heat. And unfortunately, guests came early. The wedding didn't start until 2 p.m. And guess what time the guests started to arrive? at 12 30 p.m because my bride had told people that they could come as early as 1 p.m but the thing is guys is that there was no indoor option right the wedding was outdoors even though we were having the reception indoors right my client was having the reception indoors but that was just for the guest tables the head tables right there was no indoor seating option for the wedding. So I felt really bad. You know, there were people who were asking me for water. There were people who were asking me, you know, for shade and if they can go sit inside. And I had to tell them, unfortunately, there is no indoor option, right? The, the seating is outdoors. So going forward, if I have a bride who wants to get married outdoors in the summer, I am going to tell them that really, you shouldn't have your guests coming more than 30 minutes beforehand, right? Your guests don't need to be there an hour and a half before the wedding if they have to be sitting outdoors. All right, guys. So those were the lessons that I have for you. If you have any questions on where I got my materials from, including these big red flowers, please be sure to check the description of this video, okay? If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.